Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or I should say welcome back to myself because it has been ages since I last posted here and just on YouTube in general. Life has just been busy, but that's besides the point. Today I am starting a bit of a declutter with me, organize my house, get my life together kind of series. And I'm really excited because I'm starting with the number one place in my house that has been driving me nuts. And that is my pantry. You can see like a glimpse in there and it's just, it's bad. It's bad. We moved in over two years ago. We just didn't really set up a system when we first moved in. It was just like this whole, we'll get to it, we'll get to it, we'll buy bins, we'll make it cute, we'll do the whole like home edit thing, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. And then it became, okay, I wanna do a video and I wanna show like the decluttering process, I wanna make it cute, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Never got to it <laughs> two years later, here we are. So I decided that today is the day. After bringing my daughter to dance class this morning, we stopped at the dollar store and picked up some bins. Um, although I would love to get like the fancy stuff and make it very aesthetically pleasing, we are just going with what is affordable right now and that is dollar store bins, which I actually found some decent ones. So I'm pretty happy about that and you know what? Done is better than perfect. That's something that I am starting to learn more and more, especially being a mom of two young kids. Okay, so let's take a look into my pantry. Um, this is like my kitchen right here, and then it goes through to this like walkthrough pantry, and then that is the door to the garage. So there's like a little mud room space right there. So it's kind of a high traffic spot actually, because we always come in through the garage, walk through this is like how we generally enter the house rather than like through the front door and because i have two little kids the pantry gets used a lot we're always in there getting snacks it's like a hot traffic spot so so this side of the pantry is where all of our like food typically goes it's just crammed with stuff like i'm not even kidding you there's so much in there that's just such a mess. And then the other side, there's just this small section here, which is mainly like appliances. And then we plug in our vacuum in there. So that's what we pretty much have to work with, which is quite a lot of space actually. And then, like I said, it just leads into the mudroom area, but we're not gonna worry about that today. Whereas this is the huge eyesore of my life and we have to deal with it. Okay, we're just gonna start with taking everything out and cluttering the counters with all of the stuff so that I can go through it, get rid of things that are expired, things that um, just don't need to be in there, things that we don't need, start kind of compacting things into some jars that I have. This is the part I'm dreading the most, <laughs> but it has to be done. It's a necessary evil. It always gets worse before it gets better. So let's get started. <laughs> crazy to think that like all of this stuff fits in that pantry but it does somehow I also might have chosen the wrong outfit to wear so I might be changing uh, part way let's show you what it's looking like right now it's all clear even the bottom I just have to do some sweeping and vacuuming there and then I will take all of this stuff out and put that on the table as well <laughs> Thank you. 
I've lied before when I said that taking everything out of the pantry was the thing I was dreading the most. I think this is what I'm dreading the most. Trying to figure out what goes in what container, how to like organize it, how to make it make sense. That's what I'm dreading for sure because it's hard. Like obviously baking stuff can go all together, but there are some baking stuff you use way more frequently than other baking stuff, you know? So I gotta figure out a system here. I gotta figure out which bins make sense for which things. And then the fun part will be putting them all back in the pantry and then like seeing it look beautiful. I have a few jars uh, that I can also do some, is the word decanting? Decanting, is that right? But before I get to the part that I am dreading, I still need to take all those appliances out because it's something that I know is broken that should really be out of there because it's taking up so much real estate that I'd need. So I'm gonna do that first. Crock-Pot, AKA my best friend. <laughs> Okay, so everything is completely taken out of the space and all on the counters. And there's definitely a lot of stuff to go through. So this is gonna be fun. While I'm really going through and putting things in bins, I'll probably find more, but I was actually really surprised by my quick like glance. There wasn't that many like expired or no good throwaway stuff. Um, so I feel pretty good about that, that I didn't have to throw away too much stuff. I'll probably find some more as I like deep dive in. Okay, no more delaying, let's get started. Here's a little sneak peek for you. I'm so excited. This already feels so much better. Like so much better than it did before. So just that in itself is very exciting to me. I wouldn't say it's like the most perfect pantry you've ever seen. This isn't from one of those organizing shows or anything, but it is significantly better than it used to be. It's going to be functional for me and for my family. And that is really what matters. So I'm very excited. So let's show you the pantry reveal. Okay, so when we open the door already, it looks so much more organized. So this is it from top to bottom. It just looks so much more organized, like there's actually a purpose to everything and where everything goes. And then the appliance side, I just got rid of something that was broken and that freed up a bit more space. So I'll just go through this a little bit with you, um, starting from the bottom. This is our recycling tub. We put our like cardboard and paper and stuff in there. These are bags for grocery shopping. This is just kind of like a miscellaneous bin and might change in the future. This one has lunch bags, lunch kits, like Caleb's for work and Nova's for preschool. 
Downstairs in our basement, we have um, some storage shelves on one side, and that's where we keep like our back stock, our bulk food. We shop at Costco sometimes, so that's where we'll keep like, you know, the extras and we'll source from down there, bring it up here. So what you're seeing up here isn't like all the food that we have in our house, but it is what we are able to like grab at on a daily basis. And then we're able to just refill from that back stock downstairs. Yes, yeah, so we just have some cans of things in here. Uh, this is a bit more of like miscellaneous stuff. This has like snacks, like crackers and nuts and that kind of thing, more like grown-ups type snacks. And then we have the kids snacks, which is the, gonna be the most used uh, portion of this, I'm sure. This one, uh, yeah, we just have all of this stuff, like I said, in the basement. So I just restock it every now and then and the kids have lots to choose from, which is awesome. And then this is just more kid snacks, but just ones that are in like boxes and stuff. Here we have some baking things that I might use more regularly, like my baking soda, baking powder, that kind of thing that I will pull out more often than this bin that's up here. But uh, next to it is pasta, pasta sauce, uh, that's self-explanatory. This is like the other baking bin, so it'll have like the big thing of vanilla, like powdered sugar, and there's more of the bigger baking items there. I've decided to try this out. This is just our bread. We usually keep it on the counter and um, that has become such a cluttered thing for me. So I thought we'd try this out, keeping it in the pantry. We never had space to do that before. So we'll see how it goes. That's just my flour canister for all of my sourdough baking that I um, have been doing. It needs a refill, so I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, but I like that to be easily accessible for me because I bake sourdough bread fairly often. This is my first time using one of these like turnstile things and I think that's gonna be pretty fun. So we just have some like, you know, spreads and stuff like that on there. And then all of these jars are just filled with various things. Raisins, the kids eat raisins often. We've got oats, brown sugar, we've got rice. That's um, the Kodiak Cakes pancake mix. And then there's just space for one more there. So pretty much these two rows are my most used rows. And so I kind of tried to plan it accordingly with what I use the most being uh, easily accessible at like my eye level. And then up here is um, several different bins. This one has like chips and like Tostitos and stuff like that. This one has more kind of baking stuff like marshmallows and uh, coconut flour and like a few different things that really don't get used very often. So they didn't need to go in there. Um, but still relevant and then this has like steel cut oats and like different kinds of snacks like like these coconut clusters and stuff like that and then this corner is kind of like the breakfast corner we've got lots of uh, instant oatmeal right there and then our cereals and like granola and stuff and then here I was able to get pretty much all of the appliances that were here already um, just back in and organize a little bit better but it looks so much more cohesive, less of a in-your-face eyesore of just things popping out at you. So I'm feeling very good about this pantry declutter and organize. It just is making me very happy for it to not be so crazy anymore. So now, every time that I have my pantry door open and company is over, I don't have to feel like is my dirty little secret anymore. I can keep it open and it doesn't feel like a big deal, especially like I said, this is a high traffic area. We're coming in and out of here all the time. So this was much needed and I'm very excited that I have it done. Now the problem is <laughs> that we just picked up some groceries, just picked up a grocery order. So now I gotta figure out how to place those things in my nicely organized pantry and not have it overflow again. So it'll be a work in progress. And I'll probably have to revisit it lots of times over the next months, years. <laughs> but overall, pretty excited to have this finished. It has really been eating away at me for a very long time. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this journey of decluttering. This is the beginning. This is the first episode of decluttering my house. I've got so much more to do. I've got the kitchen to do. I've got my bathroom to do. I've got the kids clothes. I've got a lot of things <laughs> so stay tuned for more episodes in this series that I'm doing and come along with me to declutter our lives
because they need it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys. Bye.